Okay, picking up from lesson one, uh, we just need to make a slight change on the tie bone right here. I'm in edit mode and I just want to grab the uh, head of that bone and lift it up a bit on uh, so that it's past the uh, bottom of the shirt. That way uh, it will just influence that once we uh, do the paint weight uh, uh, lesson, okay? Other than that, that's exactly the same as before. All right, so let's uh, start with the foot roll. I'm going to go to the uh, side viewport right here. All right, so um, we are going to create our uh, uh, bone setup for this. So I need to be in uh, x-ray mode so I could see the heel right there. So the foot roll is simply a um, heel up toe band kind of automation, okay? Um, we will uh, showcase that. Uh, actually, I can show it right now. Uh, let me just save this real quick. Okay, let's open uh, um, this one right here, the one I use for the thumbnail. So if we take a look here, um, we will see the bones that we will um, uh, just waiting for my computer to bring all the uh, assets in. There we go. So uh, post mode, and uh, let me just press everything and reset everything. Okay. So as you can see right here, uh, this is the main foot controller. Okay. Kind of like before, but this is what we want right here. So toe bend and then heel up. Okay, because before from the basic rig from uh, last semester, all we're doing is just grabbing the foot controller and uh, the vault boy. Uh, you can never do a uh, a heel up. It will always have to compensate. So there's a lot of counter animation. I mean, we're still going to be using the toe right here as the forward kinematics, and don't mind that. That's all in the paint weight uh, lesson. Okay, so let's. Uh, Get back okay so uh first things first so i want to select the main controller here and this since this is a controller we have to uncheck the um, deformation right there it shouldn't be affecting any part of the model okay all right so let's start with a foot uh we don't need this right now so what we'll do is we're going to just delete it we're going to create a new one okay we're going to select the toe also. I'm going to do, um, let me make sure my screen cast is on. Okay. Uh, so you can see the keys that I'm pressing. Let's do an Alt P to clear the parent. So the toe is not parented anywhere. Okay. Uh, let's also make a knee vector for this. So select the knee bone, press E to extrude, and then Y for the Y axis extrusion. So you get a straight one. Select the knee. Okay, Alt P, clear the parent, then G Y. We're gonna put it right here. Let's give it a name. You can name it by selecting the bone property right here, or you can also press F2 if you're on Windows. If you're on a Mac, you might need to click on Function F2. Okay, so we're gonna call this one Knee Dot Controller. So when we say controller, we mean IK controller. Okay, Dot L to designate. That's for the left knee, the center. All right, so let's create our foot bone. So I'm gonna select the uh, the uh, the tail of the uh, shin bone, press E to extrude the Y axis so that we can go straight. So now I'm, I'm basically uh, lining this up with the head of the toe bone right there, okay? So let's rename this. So this one will be the foot dot L okay and then we're going to alt P clear the parent all right so now we're going to select the head of the toe let me zoom in in here and I want to extrude this until the very tip is at the tip of the shoe right there okay you can also put it right there but the uh, heel up would be right here okay we're simply going to call this bone rocker right so this is the foot rocker okay dot l okay 
Okay. And let's uh, clear the parent on this one as well. Okay. So it's not turned to do anything. All right. So right here, we're going to uh, the parent for the rocker. So we select the tail, press E to extrude, then Z up. Okay. We're going to name this one. This is the uh, parent dot rocker dot L. All right. So we just name it like that so that the uh, we know uh, that's going to be the parent for that one. Okay. All right. Next, uh, we're going to, uh, I'm going to do an alt P on this and clear parent. Okay. Shift D Y axis. And this will be the foot roll controller. So let's name this one. This is the foot roll dot controller C T R L dot L. Okay. All right. So let's, uh, and uh, one more, uh, we're going to select this uh, foot uh, L right here. We're going to shift D to duplicate. Okay. And then we're going to open our sidebar, press N. Make sure you're on item right here. Change the length so that it's almost the same length as the entire foot. From the ankle, that is. All right. So this will be our uh, foot controller. Okay, foot IK controller, but we're just simply going to name it foot dot control dot L. Okay, so now we got to do all the parenting so that we can check uh, uh, our uh, in post mode. So what goes to what, you know, so when we grab our foot controller. So let's uh, go to post mode here and then. Uh, let's just kind of check real quick that everything is not attached to anything. Okay. So that we can really test our, um, so we can really do our lesson on the parenting part. Okay. So nothing is attached. I cleared parent and all this. Okay. So let's go to our edit mode. All right. So first one is the obvious one, right? The reason why we made this bone right here is we want this to be the parent of the rocker, right? So we select always select the parent last. Okay. So rocker shift, click parent rocker, control P keep offset. All right. So, I mean, obviously now if we grab this one, the rocker would follow. All right. So, um, let's go back here. Okay. Uh, now the, uh, uh, the toe right here. So this will be uh, independent. Uh, we will be animating this in forward kinematics to bend the uh, the uh, toes right there. Okay. And uh, we want this parented to the parent rocker. Okay. Because this one will stay in its place and it will not, uh, it will not be uh, moving. So this will be a perfect parent for the toe, which we don't want to move until uh, we do our forward kinematics animation. So I'm going to shift click parent rocker, control P. Keep offset. All right. So now um, we do want to uh, to move everything using the foot controller right here. So since this one controls this two, this one is simply the controller. So we want this to be the uh, we want both of these since this one holds this two bones and this one to be children of the foot controller. So I'm going to do Control P. Keep offset. And finally for the rocker. So when we rotate the rocker. Okay. Kind of like this one here. Let me show you real quick. We want this foot uh, bone right here to be rotating and moving as the rocker right here. So when we rotate that, we want the foot one right there to go kind of like so. All right. So let's do that. Edit. So select the foot.l, shift click the rocker, okay, keep offset. All right, so when I go to post mode here, parent rocker. All right, so now let's uh, do our um, rig, okay? So first things first, we're going to apply the, uh, the obvious, right? So um, uh, let's just check this real quick. So if I grab the foot controller, the whole rig of the foot goes with it. Okay. 
So let's uh, go back to our previous lesson and let's set up the IK for the foot first, right? So I'm going to select the shin bone, okay? Uh, before that, sorry. Let me make sure that all the controllers are not deforming. So knee controller, no deformation. Foot controller, no deformation. Rocker, no deformation. Parent of rocker, no deformation. Foot roll controller, no deformation. So the only one with deformation would be the foot bone inside and the toe. Okay, of course the chin and everything that's going up. Okay, uh, another thing, uh, let's uh, parent this now too. Um, we haven't done it yet. Uh, let's uh, select the thigh bone and then the hip, parent those, control P. So let's do this now while we're at it. Uh, the spine is also not parented yet. So if we go to post mode here, we move the, uh, the hip, the spine is not uh, parented. So select the spine, shift click the hip, control P, give offset. And then finally the shoulder to the torso, control P, keep offset. And then all the uh, mount bones, the jaw, shift click the bottom lip, top lip. And then finally shift click the head, control P, keep offset, okay? And then the hip will be parented to the main body controller right here, the big bone that's sticking out in the back, okay? So just control P, keep offset. All right, so if I go to post mode now, let's just check real quick. So if I select the main body controller, Yep, we forgot the control uh, the knee right here. So we want the knee controller to be parented to the foot controller. Okay, so now let's go to post mode and let's do that. Um, oh, um, the foot controller is not uh, parented yet. So we want um, that's going to happen when we do the IK. But let's just check real quick here. So the, all the upper parts, okay. So now we need to do our IK setup. Okay, so let's uh, uh, organize here and then save as. So this one is the, uh, um, from the first rig. So let's uh, save this one. I'm gonna call this one and just kind of um, overwrite some of my, all right. So I'm gonna go with uh, Leo, uh, foot roll test right there. Okay. So you can call yours as a foot roll, or I'm just going to call this one Leo foot roll rig that blend right here. Okay. Foot roll, save it. Okay. So now we're ready for uh, our rigging. So let's select the shin bone. Okay. Let's apply. Uh, there's shortcuts here. You can do like uh, control shift C uh, by uh, selecting uh last what you want to apply as the inverse kinematic or the constraint but i'm going to show you this to you in the slow way where we do it one at a time what is being added okay so shin bone we're going to add an inverse kinematics constraint okay the target it's asking for is the armature this main bone structure so each time we have a target that will be the armature it's still called the armature because we didn't bother changing it the bone Okay, so the bone is what's going to be controlling this IK would be that foot that L. Okay, it'll be that foot that L right there. Okay, so um, uh, we're going to select it here under bone. Then we're going to do, uh, we can type in F right there, foot that L. All right, this is we covered uh, in uh, 3D Animation 1 and it's on Wix 6, the Volt Boy. If you want to do a quick preview, if you forgot how to do all this. Pole target, that's the knee controller right there. So again, armature. The bone right here would be the knee controller. Dot L. Okay, so it went whack all like this. So what we need to do here is uh, uh, set the chain to 2. Okay, and then the pole angle minus 90. All right. So now if we grab the foot right there. Since the foot is parented to the rocker, the rocker is parented to the parent rocker, parent rocker is parented to the foot roll. So if we grab this, 
that should take the entire setup All right but it's still not going to do the foot roll here so now that our leg ik is done let's now start with a foot roll okay so here i'm going to select the foot uh, the rocker.l we're going to add a constraint to this okay it will be a copy controller we want to copy what this guy is uh, rotating right here this bone so and the same thing as this with the rocker will copy foot roll controller parent will copy the rocker so we can actually rock it so rocker copy rotation okay and all we need to do here is change both target and owner very important you change that to local space local space on both okay so and we are targeting the armature the bone is the foot roll controller not foot control but the foot roll this bone right here okay there it is so now let's take a look real quick so if we roll this there it is but it's going underneath so we need something to we need to prevent the rocker from uh rotating low because we don't want our um our uh, foot to do some weird bending right here so Going back to the rocker that L, we need to add another constraint. It will be the limit rotation. Okay, so the limit rotation, same thing. We want the owner to be local space. We just want to rotate it along the X right there. Okay, so we'll limit the X, and then we're gonna type in 170. I mean, we can go 179.9 right here. Uh, that's actually being a uh, conservative at 170 all it's doing when you put 170 is this so if i rotate this now remember it can go up so it toe bend but now when we go past that right there so this is i mean please don't animate past 170 right here because it'll break your okay but if we just rock this uh, back and forth right this so we can go toe bend but it won't go down anymore okay so we're going to do the exact same thing for the parent rocker right here okay so we're going to add copy rotation okay local space local space we want to uh, target the armature the bone would be the foot roll uh, controller okay all right and then we're going to add the same one limit rotation local space instead of limit x maximum we're going to go minimum which is the opposite we're going to do 170 and voila we are done with the foot roll so now if we rotate this this way it goes up when then when we rotate it that way it goes heel up okay just don't go 171 it'll break it okay so let that's you know that's basically the movement right there and then when we grab the foot controller right here there we go all right and that concludes the uh, foot roll controller okay so I'm gonna save this and then let's go uh, open uh, one where I did uh, apply the mesh already so that um, let's see right here Once we apply, so a foot controller, there we go. Okay, so I can grab the hip right here, lower this a bit. So we couldn't do this type of uh, setup before with the basic rig because uh, we can't bend that uh, toe right there. Uh, automatically, we have to keep uh, we have to keep doing counter animation, but now. If I turn that off, as you can see here, we have some nice deformation. And I didn't paint weight this, so I just want to show it to you. All right, so there it is, our foot roll. Okay, let me reopen the foot roll. All right, and uh, we're going to uh, do the... Uh, collection later so that when you're animating this you only see uh the uh, the bones that you need to animate all right so uh we're going to do the hand uh on the next lesson